There's nothing I hate more than sitting around waiting for my computer to catch up to me. As raw files get bigger, it seems like Lightroom is getting slower. So in this video, I'm gonna give you seven quick tips to boost your editing speed in Lightroom. Tip number one is to give Lightroom the resources that it needs to operate efficiently. Go into your camera raw cache settings and increase the max size to 20 or more gigs under edit, preferences, performance. Tip number two is to build full size previews during the import process. Switching between photos can be one of the biggest time killers in Lightroom because by default it builds full size previews as you switch between photos. So under your import settings set build previews to one to one. The initial import will take a little bit longer, but switching photos becomes faster because Lightroom has pre-built all of the full-size previews beforehand. Tip number three is to turn on smart previews under your import settings. This not only allows you to keep editing even when the original files are missing, like if you store images on an external drive and it isn't currently connected, for example, but since the smart previews are lower resolution, you can edit even faster, and when you zoom in or export files, it applies all your settings to the full-size images for max quality. Tip number four is to optimize your catalogs. This only affects individual catalogs, but as Lightroom officially states, if your catalog is large and has been running slowly, optimizing may improve performance. Now, I personally have never done this in my life, but I typically have no more than a few hundred images in a single catalog, so your performance may vary. Tip number five is to allow Lightroom to use your GPU. Go to Edit, Preferences, Performance, and enable Use Graphics Processor if you can. A graphics card is specifically built to handle graphic intensive operations just like photo editing, so you should see an overall increase in speed. Tip number six is to convert proprietary RAW formats into universal digital negatives or .dng files. You can do this as you import your photos, and some people might get a performance boost, but there are downsides. Some other software can have trouble properly reading DNG files, so I would typically only recommend trying this if nothing else helps and you have no other options. And finally, tip number seven, get a better hard drive. Using an SSD instead of an old disk-based hard drive can improve overall speed in Lightroom. Storage keeps getting faster and cheaper, so it's worth looking into upgrading every year or two or as your drives start filling up. That's it for now guys. I hope these tips help you get the speed that you're looking for out of Lightroom. And more importantly, get rid of all the frustration that comes with using laggy software. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment below letting me know what you wanna learn next. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.